Nixon campaigns in 1968 with basically trying to get a peace with honor. What exactly does that mean? It basically means that we're, you know, that this war is pretty much lost. The United States is not going to achieve what it wants to achieve in Vietnam, but it doesn't want to do so in a way. It doesn't want to get out of it out of the war in a way that, that, uh, that seems to be cowardly, unmanly, uh, with our tail between our legs. We want to basically get out of this fight and have peace with honor. So what exactly does that mean? Well, Nixon is going to come up with a policy known as Vietnamization. And basically, it's it's the it basically means make the Vietnam War an actual Vietnam War, right? When you think about it, when you boil down the war, it's basically this. It's a civil war between the North and the South, and the United States intervenes on behalf of the South. That's basically what it is. So uh, Nixon is going to try to make this war now an actual Vietnam War fought by the Vietnamese. The plan is simple. Vietnamization is going to train the the, the South Vietnamese army to fight the North Vietnamese army. And the United States is going to pull, start pulling out its troops. At the same time, though, we're not just going to like abandon them completely. What we're going to do then is we're going to ba back up that South Vietnamese army with American air power. So if they need close air support, if they need strategic bombing or anything they need and from the air, the United States will provide. So this is the way that Nixon wants to Vietnamize the war, therefore Vietnamization. He's also going, you know, while he's de-escalating the war, at least he's campaigning on it, he's also going to escalate it elsewhere. He's going to spread it. See, one of the things that the North Vietnamese can always rely upon is this Ho Chi Minh Trail, this major road system that allows them to supply their armies in the field. Well, part of that Ho Chi Minh Trail goes into other countries like Cambodia. And under the Johnson administration, those were hands off. Do not touch right? Well, Nixon's like, why? Well, you know, we need to go in here. You know, we need to make sure that they do not have this sanctuary where they can just run into and basically, you know, when things get tough, right? So he goes into Cambodia. He spreads the war into Cambodia. Now, the result, of course, is going to be absolute anger, particularly uh, by college students. Uh, we're going to see um, we're going to see riots on college campuses. And now why in the world would college students be uh, be, uh, be upset about the war? It's like, oh yeah, it's because it's their age their age uh, uh, members of society that are fighting the war, right? So you have two major riots that actually end in violence and death. One's in Kent State, which is in Ohio. The other one's in Jackson State, which is in Mississippi. And uh, the result is that the national, and particularly in Kent State, they're going to, uh, they're going to, the, the National Guard's going to have to be called out. And ultimately, ultimately, there's going to be uh, violence. The National Guard fires upon these 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 students, and four students are killed. Now, if you type in Kent State Massacre, uh, you're going, you know, there's a famous picture. There's, there's a dead student lying on the ground, and there's this woman that's basically crying in horror. It's a Pulitzer Prize winning photo, uh, and thus it's basically emblematic of the student response to this Vietnamization. So this is the way that Nixon is trying to get peace with honor. He's trying to make the war a Vietnam, Vietnam War by backing up uh, the South Vietnamese forces uh, by American air power. And he's also going to try to get the North Vietnamese to the ne negotiation table. And how do you get the North Vietnamese to the negotiation table? Well, you get the Chinese involved. Because after all, North Vietnam is going to be pretty good friends at this time with the Chinese. They're the closest ally that they that the, that the uh, North Vietnamese have, and they're thus the thus excuse me. Nixon is going to normalize relations with China. We're going to see that in our next slide.